I've always had this curiosity inside me and I have to let it out. So when I went to the village and saw this ashes in the chimney, I couldn't help myself but to collect them and experiment. So besides using the grayish kind of ashes, I also started collecting this thicker black pieces and I just collected all of this and then went to mash them in one of those garlic mashers. Well, the ones that we use here in Spain anyways. So I threw them all in there and I started mashing away and I started getting this fine and kind of thick and kind of fine powder so I just mashed until I couldn't mash anymore because I was too excited to use this I recommend if you do this you use a mask because it gets really powdery and it goes everywhere so I went outside and did this and then I got one of the colanders from my kitchen and I used the thicker piece in another project and I used this powdery that we had left over at the bottom for my experiment. So before I did this off camera, this is the gray ashes and I combined them with gesso, the white gesso and the clear gesso. And I'm showing you here in slow kind of um, way so that if you want you can read it or pause the video and write down what it is. This ashes that I combined with water, they just fall off the page and this is um, a way that I learned that even though if it falls out the page um, you still have the color until the page like stuck in it so just for future reference for me when I'm painting or using these techniques so I just mix experiment and then write down the name of what I used this is how it looks when it's all pretty and you know clean but you're gonna see how crazy I get <laughs> experimenting with the blacker all the black ashes so we have um, some glue here and I that is how it started I collected some um, this little spatulas for painting or and then I collected some of my glass containers because I noticed that it sticks less if you use glass or porcelain so instead of plastic so I just started going away and mixing and matching and this time I used the glue and the regular um, ashes to see what effect I will get because I've used um, gesso, the white and clear gesso before and I didn't use glue so now I was curious what it would look like with glue. Now I've noticed that it's even though it's a spreadable and it's manageable I wanted something more um, flowy so if you have different um, ratios in water and all that, it's good if you write it down. You don't need to write it down in this notebook or keep it in your mind. I will remember this because I have the videos and also because um, after I did all this experimenting, I started using the techniques and what I've learned. And if, even if it sounds crazy, I speak out loud when I'm doing this. I'm like, so that I remember it because I'm listening to myself um say it so i just say it i see it and then i hear it and this is the best way for me to learn so you saw that that i made it watery and i scratched at it and i um spread it a little bit more to see how spreadable and how fun it will be maybe for background and you can experiment in this notebook as if there's nothing nothing can go wrong you're experimenting you're learning so um, it gets crazier and crazier once you get in the mood and <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing but at the end of the video you're gonna see me go completely wacko but um, anyways I do you saw what I mixed here just glue some black ashes and some water and the black ashes for some reason are a little bit more um, they're thick they're hard to spread around so you have to add more water and even if it gets really watery and runny it still feels like sandy when you spread it so I kept adding water and seeing if I could make this somehow clear in a way I mean it's black you're not gonna be able to uh, make it like you know less clear but I wanted to see if I could scratch it and get to the bottom and you see on the right side right here 
you can kind of make it into a background. You just have to add a lot of water to it. So I scratched at it and yes you can scratch it then I try to move it around and it's hard to move around but it's possible and it's doable so that's why I started going you know I look at the different spaces that I've used I started nice and then I went mm, and then I went oh my goodness and then I go whoa crazy you know so it, these feelings that come when I'm doing these kind of stuff it's one of the reasons sometimes that I just I can film because I get too excited about something and then it looks messy but at the same time I really want to show you and share this with you because many of my subscribers um, have asked for a video on how I use my art journal. If you want me to keep sharing this kind of thing let me know because I'm gonna be raw and this is what you're gonna get. You're not gonna get something super planned and with different angles and stuff. You're gonna get the raw me working. And if you like that, great. That's all about what I want to share. So let me know in the comments below. All the materials are going to be listed down below also because after watching the video, sometimes you're like, whoa, what did you use? What was that? What that call? Where do I get that? I have an Amazon storefront down there so you can look at the products and write the names and stuff like that. You don't even have to buy them or anything. Um, just for reference, that's easier for me to organize them in Amazon instead of um, writing everything down every time I have to put the description of a video with names and all that stuff. So now that's white gesso and I was mixing it little by little so that I knew what shades I could get with the black um, ashes and the white gesso. Obviously if you mix black and white you're gonna get gray. But I got different um, shades of gray. I got a really subtle one, then I got one in the medium tones, and then I got this dark one that I really, really liked. I could have added more and got it a darker um, gray, but now that's in my mind, and I know that I can make different kinds of, you know, um, shade of gray. Now that one was a spreadable, it was fun, it was easy, and now I'm moving on to the clear gesso. And you can see this is going to be black because the gesso, it's clear, even though you saw that it was kind of white, it's just clear gesso. Now, um, while mixing this, I noticed that it was harder to work with. So now I know that the gray ashes, the more powdery one, are more like baby powder. And this black one, it's more like baby powder going on sand, you know. So it's the it's a between sand and baby powder so that's the texture that I was getting I guess if you have something to mash this little black rocks that to make the ash um, or the ashes um, it'll be great I just I couldn't wait I had to experiment maybe in the future I will try to like really really mash them and get the finest powder I can get and it will be easier to spread just so you know you can you can just see it, but you cannot feel the textures and all of that. It's kind of a bummer with the videos, but um, I wish I could see you all in person and um, you can touch and feel and smell and you know. But yeah, it's not possible. So now I wanted to see because of this sandy texture, I wanted to show it and feel it. This is what it looks like, but you can still get the color out of it. So it's kind of like the instant coffee. It's the only difference is that the coffee obviously dissolves all of it, like most of it, and the ashes will not dissolve because they're kind of sandy. So it's expecting the sand to dissolve with seawater or any water, you know. So now I'm running out of tools, <laughs> and this is when it's starting to get a little crazy. I'm running out of tools, and I'm running out of containers and space. And I'm getting nervous and I'm getting more excited about this because now I'm adding my beloved coffee to the mix and this really gets me excited. I don't know what it is about coffee in me, but whatever. Um, I must have been some sort of coffee addict in the past and now I'm relieving the experience, not only drinking it, but, you know, painting with it and experimenting with it. But that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> so you saw that in my previous mix I, I had some left and I decided to hey I know that I can get different grays from this mix let's see what happens if I add the 
coffee and if I can get like a brownishy background when I scratch it and when I like spread it. So that's what I did. I started playing with the coffee and now I'm scratching it and this is what I do. Like these are my tests. I scratch, I really spread and take everything to one side to make one side super texture and the other side kind of see through. And when I know that I can get something see-through kind of kind of thing and also texture, I know that that's a good combo for a, an amazing canvas or a great art piece for my walls. So now I'm getting like super excited here because that coffee just got really texture. And now I'm bringing everything back here and adding coffee to it. And I'm running out of space and I'm running out of containers. And I'm running out of tools and I'm like, holy crap, I should have, I'm sorry about that. I, I don't know how to beep that word out, but see, I'm excited just telling you about it. So now I'm like, I'm not going to get up from my seat because I'm on a roll here and I didn't bring any more materials and I only had this on the table. So I'm like, Jesus, please help me that this is going to have enough space for me to do everything that I want to do. And now I'm like, I, I, no more containers let's use my hand and I just noticed that I was out of frame here and now I'm trying to put my hand in there so that you can see because I wasn't noticing the camera or anything I just I was like I need a container so my hand can act like a container so <laughs> I'm using my hand so yeah let me know if this ever happens to you that you have to use your fingers and your hands and you're like on a roll and you can't stop and now you're mixing and don't worry i'm gonna have the names of every single mixture at the end because i write down everything so anyhow now i'm mixing and i'm trying to spread and i'm trying to scratch and this is the only space i have and i can barely move in this little teeny tiny space but i want to see i want to i want to keep spreading this to see how it works so now the scratching part, it's really fun. I can see through and I can still have texture and it's really thick, but at the same time it's flowy, so it's nice. And now I'm like, I'm gonna flip this and I'm gonna use this other space here, but I wanna do two different things and I only have one tiny space and I'm using my hand already and I can use the other hand. So this is getting out of control and I'm just gonna start breathing now and trying to like, calm myself down from all these experimenting and my excitement and trying to control it for a video's sake and so that you don't think I'm a crazy lunatic <laughs> even though sometimes uh, when it comes to art I kind of can be one crazy lunatic but okay let me know what you think and if this happens to you please let me know in the comments so I know I'm not the only one that gets you know art crazy here so now I'm trying to make it lighter and I want to make it lighter so that I know that there is a lighter shade coming out of this weird mix that I already have with glue and ashes and all of that. And I'm like, yeah, white gesso. I'm just going to add the white gesso to it and see what happens. And I think this calmed my brain down because I finally got this shade that I was trying to see if I could make. And I'm like, yep, this is what I need. That's all that's left. I have a little teeny tiny space spot here and I'm putting my gesso <laughs> and my mix down and I can breathe again. So now I'm like, yep, this looks like I'm done. Fantastic. So um, now everything that it's left to do, it's put this down, pick everything up, wash my hands and wait for it to dry. And then I go back to it and I'm starting to write um, everything down and if you can film yourself and have that as reference so that you have everything written down properly after that's great I have a good memory sometimes some other times it's really bad but um, thank God for video and I wrote all the names down and this is kind of what it looks like I don't know if you can see the texture and you can see the clear part without texture that could be the background if you really spread it so um, Thank you so much for watching my craziness. I hope you learned something. If you did, give this video a like, a thumbs up, you know, and let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this. Um, go ahead and experiment of your own. Get whatever you have on hand at home and experiment and go crazy and have fun because this is what life is all about, having fun 
and having this curiosity in you so that you can keep exploring and discovering new things. Maybe share one of them with me. Okay, so thanks for watching. Have an amazing day and goodbye.